eventually I love you, Lord. I need help with understanding why you placed me with this person. Ah. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> no eye has seen, no ear has heard what the Lord has for them that love him, right? Eventually... As a follower of Jesus, you're going to ask me to send you a husband. You're going to ask me to send you a wife. Lord, I... So eventually this situation is going to occur. In marriage, there's no way out of this situation. So you're already in this situation. So what am I teaching you in this situation? What are you learning? How are you growing? How am I strengthening you? How am I teaching you to love your enemy? How am I teaching you to deal with disappointment? All these things that happen that strengthen you when you're constantly pursuing my will for your life. Lord, I thought that was it. Well, we've been through this. You're ready for this. <clears throat> your new life with your spouse. And you have to realize this is for the rest of your life. And once you realize that, all of the other problems of, I thought this person was this person, and then turns out they're not this person. Sweep that to the side. This person's playing all these games and has a side chick here. He has a side girl there. I don't know what's going on. Not interested in following God at all. Not interested in building God's kingdom with me. Not interested in peace and joy. Not interested in scripture. Not interested in hearing from God. Not interested in the kingdom or uh, knowing and being protected and being loved and feeling God's love and the fragrance of peace and a sound mind, being able to laugh and feel safe, being able to, yes, that's my husband, yes, that's my wife, and I'm proud of them. God gave them to me as a gift. So take the cloud of uh, backwards perception that you have of your spouse. See that it's coming from the enemy. Slow down. Be wise. Pray about it what's going on and I will tell you. Many of us, this has been going on for years, so we're not even disappointed in our progress. <clears throat> we're not disappointed that things aren't perfect and, well, that's part of marriage. That's the beauty of it. Many of us don't know why our prodigal isn't forthcoming and just saying, you know what, I messed up, I don't know what I'm doing. It's because they are scared. They are scared that they were following the devil. They are scared that it wasn't me leading them. 
and they should be because it wasn't. Stay with me, all right? I love you. 